Here we go. I'm back. All right. I'm back. Let me let everybody log back in. Let me let everybody check back in. I'm back. I'm back. You went to a new one? Yeah. I had to post that one. Yeah. Yeah, I had to post that one. Okay. I'll give him a few seconds. Yeah. Okay. We're back. Sandy back. They're joined back in. All right. Shine back. All right. Check back in, y'all. We good. All right. Brittany back. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I let a few other people go. That was that was getting real good right there. And the enemy, boy, he don't like that dude. We got good internet service, y'all. <laughs> and we pay our cable bill, we too. We sure do. We do. We, we got good, and we got some fire in there. I'm going to let y'all log back in. All right, we got you. Here we go. Trey back in. All right. All right. We rebuke you, devil. Amen. Amen. All right. Set it back. All right. I shared the first part, y'all. We, we, we. I don't think we're gonna get interrupted no more because we we're not ready to rebuke the devil. All right, exactly. The enemy. That's it. Shine back. All right, April back. All right. Here we go. Uh, Proverbs chapter four, uh, verse seven. Pastor Mika, could you read Proverbs four and, and verse seven? All right. Listen to this. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. It says wisdom is, is the principal one. It said in all of your getting, make sure you get an understanding. Why would God say in everything that you get, make sure you get a full understanding? Because if you lack understanding, then your response will show that. Your response to any situation, you'll come short. Wow. But if you understand. If I understand why a thing is the way it is, listen, if I understand that the reason I'm getting attacked is because I'm doing good, then I won't respond like the enemy want me to. Hey, Myrna Bell, if I, if I understand why I'm being attacked, then I won't respond the way the enemy wants me to. Watch this. If you understand that the person that's hating on you, they really don't hate you. They're just jealous. And if you know that, then you can overcome that evil with good. All you got to, and when you find out somebody jealous of you, don't respond with, 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 with harshness. Pull them to the side and tell them, listen, let me show you that it wasn't me that got me here. Let me show you how I got here. <sighs> uh, let me show you how to get here. Amen. So, so when people are jealous, when you understand they're just jealous, then you won't respond the same way they responded. You'll respond with wisdom because you got an understanding. Oh, it's all about overcoming, beloved. That's right. I'm telling you, the enemy, let me tell you something. The, you, you are a threat to the enemy when you go to church. Mm. You become armed and dangerous when you become the church. Wow. Come on. Let me say that again. You are a threat to the enemy when you go to church, which means you're just not fully, he's not fully nervous. But when you become the church, you become a threat. You become armed and dangerous. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Watch this. Watch this. You're a threat to the enemy. Watch this when you open the word. Mm. But you become armed and dangerous when you live it. You, you, you are a threat to the enemy when you open your Bible. Yeah. Yeah. But you become armed and dangerous. When you live it. Watch this. This is what I'm going to say. The enemy try to take my thought. Watch this. Watch this. It's, it's okay to eat healthy. And, and, but at some time, you got to work out. That's right. Oh. That's right. No, see, look, here's what we do in the natural. We'll eat healthy and we'll say, oh, I'm, I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to lose this. I'm going to lose that. But but you just eating healthy. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, but if you want to, if you really want to get into it, you're going to have to work out. So it's good to, it's good to read the word. Lord have mercy. It's good to read the word. It's good to eat this daily bread. But, but when you start working out, uh, that's when you become armed and dangerous. Amen. I promise, beloved, uh, the, the, our biggest enemy is our own mindset. Wow. We, 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 our biggest enemy is our own mindset. Watch this. Your thoughts will make you get in your own way. Mm, that's true. Your, your thought process will cause you to get in your own way. Your thought process will cause you to be your own stumbling block. Yeah. Come on. That's true. The Bible 
Bible says in Proverbs 4, 7, get wisdom. He said, it's the most important thing. Get wisdom. He said, and in everything you get, make sure you get a full understanding. When you start understanding what the Lord's will is for your life, oh, you become armed and dangerous, beloved. I promise you. And it's up here in your, you got to get it up in your, 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 in your mind. And then it get in your heart. And boy, it's on when it get in your You know what? I, uh, this is what the Lord told me. And I don't know, he, he always messed me up. This is what the Lord told me. Watch this. Watch this. Your brain, your brain is an automatic weapon. Watch. But it's not any good if you don't have no bullets. The Bible are the bullets that go in your automatic weapon. So when you fully load it, when you got a full clip, and then when you speak, you unload. Lord have mercy. See, see, because as a man thinketh, that's what he's going to be. Yeah. Your brain is a weapon. Yes. But the Bible is the ammunition that you load your brain with. And now you, and when you start speaking the word of God, now you're dumping on the enemy. Mm -hmm. Now you're dumping. Now you, yes. amen. Now you're yes. dumping. Amen. amen. So that, get the, he said, get wisdom. I promise you, if you get wisdom and get understanding, wisdom and, and understanding, watch this. It'll cause you to get jobs yeah. that you, I'm telling you, because of the way you conduct yourself. I promise wisdom will keep you out of your own way. Come on. Understanding to keep you from tripping up over yourself. Hmm. Get that understanding. We're talking about overcoming. Watch this. Here's what I want to say to you guys. I had some I wrote. We have to keep an eternal mindset in the, temp in the face of temporary challenges. Wow. I'm going to say that again. We have to keep an eternal mindset in the face of temporary challenges. I'm going to say that one more time. Then I got an example. Watch this. Watch this. We have to keep an eternal mindset in the face of temporary challenges. What, let me explain. You know, you ever heard, of, we, gotta have, we got to pay attention to the big picture. We need to focus on the big picture. Watch this. And not the snapshot. Wow. Uh, no, no, I'm going to say that one more time. We have to keep an eternal mindset in the face of temporary challenges. The big picture is the eternal mindset. Watch this. Watch this. The temporary challenge, that's a snapshot. See, because, because a snapshot is, watch this, it takes no effort to, 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 for a snapshot. You, you don't put no work into a snapshot. And because a snapshot can only tell you a little piece. Wow. But the big picture, <laughs> it'll have you seeing what's going on Amen. and understand. Uh, come on, y'all. We have to keep an eternal mindset in the face of a temporary challenge. Some folk just snapshot people. Mm. They just want to get your goat, as my sister would say. Stop responding to snapshot comments. That's a snapshot. Mm. It ain't telling but a little piece of the picture. Wow. Amen. Amen. They don't know you. Just say, all you got of me is a snapshot. Amen. Oh, you just know a little bit. Amen. And if you watch this, and if the little bit you know about me got you that jealous, oh, God, what if he ever show you the big picture? Which is my purpose and my destiny. Oh. Uh, if just getting a, if you got snapshot information of me, and that's enough to get you to, to and that's enough to get you to gossiping and backbiting wow. and talking about me just from a snapshot. Ooh. Wait till God show you the big picture. Wow. Oh. You liable to go crazy. Oh. oh my God. Here's the thing. That's why we got to stay in tune with the Lord. Because when you're in tune with the Lord, you'll continue to see the big picture. Mm. It's only when we take our eyes and our mind off the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's only when we take our minds and our eyes and our focus off the Lord and start paying attention to snapshot stuff. Oh. I'm done dealing with snapshot people, oh. snapshot stuff. I don't want to talk about snapshot thing because all you talking about is a small part. I got my mind on a Big picture. Mm. Come on. Amen. Meditate on the things that are above, not on the things that are in the earth. Yeah. Amen. I'm trying to live for what's coming. That's right. Because the goal is eternal life, 
with our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. And in order to, to obtain that, he already won our soul and salvation. Yes. It comes through faith in Jesus. But you got to live. Stop living snapshot lives. And live you a amen. big picture life. I'm on the big picture thing now. Amen. My life, amen, amen, is focused on the big picture. That's a bigger picture. Come see, on. all you see is a snapshot. Hey, the Bible said we see in part. We even prophesy in part. But when that which is made complete comes to pass, oh, we're going to be just like Jesus. Yeah. Stop dealing with snapshot stuff. Woo. I'm focusing on the big picture. Because I promise you, all folk do is throw snapshots. Watch this. They throw a little snapshot so you can ruin the big picture. Come on, what? They, they, they throw snapshots. Hoping that you'll get focused on the snapshot. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All they got is a little bit. Amen. You know, that just kind of, it reminds me of Snapchat. <laughs> Watch this. All you got is a little bit, but you still talking. You, you missed it. You you missed it. Snapchat. They just got a little bit of snap, but they still chatting. They still talking. And they, and if that little bit you got got you talking about me, you know, wait wait to go. God show them the big. But nah, they couldn't handle it. Some folk can't even handle your big picture. Watch this. You can't even handle your big picture. If God showed you the big picture where He was about to take you, you wouldn't be able to handle it. Come on. Oh Lord, have mercy. <sighs> Okay, on, all right, watch this. I hope this is helping somebody. Watch this. The Bible says, arm yourselves with the same mind. Well, if you read his mind, then you'll know what's on his mind. Mm. If you read his mind, you'll know what's arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. How do I arm myself with the same mindset Jesus had? Well, I just go open up his brain. I look at his brain, which is the Bible, and I see what's on his mind. I see his thoughts. Amen. Because his thoughts are not my thoughts. His ways are not my ways. His thoughts are higher. He didn't say he didn't want you. He just said they higher. No, wait a minute. He just said my ways are higher. My thoughts are higher. He didn't say he didn't want you to have them. He could have said, well, I don't want you to have my thoughts. He didn't say that. All he said was, in order to think like me, you got to come up a little higher. Mm. Wow. In, in order to think like me, you got to come up a little higher. And you know, a lot of times, we won't be so confused about what God is doing uh -huh. if we start learning God's ways. Come on. Come on. Did that just make sense? Yeah. Somebody told me that, just, that tell me that just made sense. Mm. That, that, that in order to think like him, read his mind. It's available. You know, he don't charge you nothing to let you in his mind. Come on. He don't charge us nothing. It's free. I like that too. Read his mind. Amen. Amen. So, so the Bible says, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind. For he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. You know, it's, it's kind of backwards. Watch this. If you, if you suffered in the flesh, then you have ceased from sin. You will know when you're doing right because you'll get in trouble. Yeah. You, you'll have all kind of folk at you. You have all kind of folk coming at you all different directions. You know what's amazing? All you're doing is being obedient to God. You, you didn't know you was this dangerous to the enemy. <laughs> oh, God, I had no clue I was this dangerous. I didn't. I had no clue that I was on all these people's mind. I'm on a lot of people's mind. I wonder why. Come on. Amen. The devil's smart. He ain't into wasting time because he ain't got time to waste. Oh. So he gonna mess with folk. That's a big threat. Anytime the enemy mess with you, it's because it's because it's crucial with him. Amen. He said, "I got to mess this one here up." Cause she didn't got she done mess around and start living what she was. She done mess around and read his mind. I got to get this one right here. The devil's smart. Don't you think he he ain't stupid? No. He don't mess with dummies. Mm -hmm. He don't mess with ignorant folk. He don't mess with folk that ain't got nothing in them. He don't mess with folk that ain't got purpose. He don't mess with people that ain't got destiny. Everybody he mess with, when he start messing with you, you once again, here you go. You ought to tell him I appreciate the cosign. Now I know I must be doing something right. Come on, Pastor. Because he don't waste time. He ain't got time to waste. Wow. Armed and dangerous. Wow. 
See, what we do is, we got to stop this, beloved. We got to stop this mentality that I always got to act out. I always got to respond. I always got to be loud. I always got to care. carry yourself upright. Square your shoulders and level your chin. Act like you got some home training. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I'm, I, I think a few folks might, might fall off of here now. Since I told them, act like they got some. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Act like act like he's our father. Yes. We're taught in heaven. Hallowed be his name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Act like you a child of God. Not fact, I'm sorry. Don't act like it. Think like it. Yeah. Start thinking like it. Amen. Amen. We ruin our value with our response. Mm. It's the wrong response. So you degrade yourself with the wrong response. Sometimes the loudest thing you can say is nothing. Mm -hmm. If I cannot thank you, I'm going to automatically outlive you. If I can outthink you, I'm going to automatically outdo you. Mm. If I can outthink you, true I ain't getting no response now. Okay, true, true. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Amen. We got to have a battlefield mentality. I, I, watch this. I am victorious in the time of war. Amen. Amen. Tell yourself before when you give it, I'm already going to come out of this on top. Amen. Amen. Let's, that's right. Let's act like he's our father. I'm, I'm victorious. Watch this. Uh, Pastor Mika, if you would get 1 Peter 4, 2 and 3 in the message Bible, if you got it. Can you get it? If not, it's okay. Watch this. Look at verse 2. That he no longer, we, we should no longer live the rest of our time in the flesh for the lust of men, but for the will of God. We don't live the rest. We, we spent enough time doing that. Amen. Listen, I spent enough time making mistakes. Amen. I'm, watch this. I'm going to sanctify the rest of my life to making better choices, to thinking different. I got you. you got me. Watch this. Let's, let's stop. Let's stop that. Watch this. And what, let me say this. It seems like to me that the biggest challenge that we have with our minds is on our job. Mm -hmm. It's on our job. It really is. Let's be honest. It's when, it's when, you, when you're at work and, and all of this stuff is coming at you and it's unfair. Watch this. All they're trying to do, listen, they don't want you to elevate or progress anyway. So what they're going to do is if they can hit you with enough snapshots, See, all this stuff ain't big. It's just snapshots. I keep going back to that. That's just a snapshot. If you hold tight, you'll realize that it's just a snapshot when you compare it to the big picture. Yeah, come on. See, a, a, when you weigh every choice you make on the outcome it's going to have in eternity. Yeah. Weigh every choice you make on, before you make it, before you make the move, weigh it on the outcome. In other words, sit Watch this. Sit their opinion next to the big picture. Wow. No, I'm going to say that. I said it the wrong way. Sit their opinion next to your purpose and see which one bigger. Lord. Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. Sit, watch it. Sit, sit people's opinion about you next to your purpose. Sit it right beside it and see which one bigger. Come on. I guarantee you, your purpose is going to be bigger than their opinion. Amen. Oh, dangerous. I ain't got a mind like Jesus now. I am dangerous. Yeah. Because if I start thinking like him, then watch this. I start doing what he does. <laughs> Wait a minute. He said, greater works shall you do. Jesus wasn't lying. He was God. He couldn't lie. So everything he said was you. So if he told you that you was going to do greater works, Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. But how you going to know what greater is if you don't know what he did in the first place? Yeah. Go back and see what he did. Yeah. He healed the sick. Come on. Yeah. Come on. He made people's situation better. Watch this. Watch this. And never did Jesus let them see him sweat. Never did Jesus let them see him sweat. They came at it from all angles. They, they lied on him. Amen. They there go that thing again. That's what I used to struggle with. When you lie on me, I used to be my own attorney. You know, I, I did. I, was, I thought I was an esquire. You lie on me, I'm going to make you prove it. But I was wasting time because there were snapshots. Lies are snapshots. Mm. Come on, y'all. They're snapshots. That's not the big picture. That's not who you are. Amen. 
God said you're more than a conqueror. You're not a loser. You're not a mistake. Amen. Amen. Watch this. That's why, watch this. I'm about to attack these, these demons right now. I'm about to attack them. Uh, low self-esteem is a snapshot. Amen. Why? Low self-esteem is a snapshot. So the next time it come trying to talk to you, just tell it, listen, I just learned something. You a snapshot. You ain't even part of the big picture. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to help somebody else. Depression, snapshot. snapshot. It's a snapshot. All it's doing, it's a snapshot. And tell depression next time, listen, depression, I just learned something. Since the last time me and you talked, I learned you was a snapshot. You yeah. ain't got nothing to do with the bigger picture. Yeah. Amen. My purpose is going to overpower anything that's a snapshot. Amen. The bigger picture is what counts. I'm Amen. done. I'm done dealing with stuff that wastes my time. Amen. Oh, it's a snapshot. What's been bothering you? Who been bothering you? Mm. The enemy put them on assignment. But watch this. They're limited. Because all they can yeah, do is snapshot. give snapshots. The author and the finisher of our faith is the bigger picture, baby. All the devil can do is show you a snapshot. That's all he got in the arsenal. And what he does is, watch this. And when he sent a bunch of them, watch this. Watch, watch, watch. When he sent a bunch of them, when he sent a bunch of them at you, watch this. This is going to help somebody. It's going to look like a big picture, but if you pay attention, it's a bunch of snapshots. It's not even a big picture. But the puzzle don't fit. Come on. Wait a minute. The, the pieces of the puzzle don't fit. Mm. Mm. Arm yourselves. Arm yourselves likewise. Watch this. Uh, John 16 and 33. John 16, When y'all get there. And Pastor Rick, did you have that? I did. Okay. John 16, 33, guys. Listen to this. I hope this blessing somebody. John 16, 33. John 16, 33. Watch this. He said, These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace. That's the big picture. Hmm, yeah. In the world... You will have tribulation, some snapshots. Oh, but be of good cheer. I have already dealt with the snapshot people. Come on. Lord, he, he said, in me, in me, you're going to have peace. I promise you peace is a part of the big picture. He said, in the world, you're going to have tribulation, a bunch of snapshots. Mm. He said, but take heart and be of good cheer because I've already dealt with the snapshot folks. I've already dealt with the snapshot things. I've already dealt with the snapshot people. I've already dealt with the snapshot places. Mm. I hope this blessing, y'all. Amen. I, I, I really do. I hope this is blessing, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. First Peter 4. I'm still in that. Watch this. The Bible says, verse 3, For we spend enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in lewdness, lust, drunkenness, reveries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. You know, you, you really got to get you. You really got to get to this part yourself. Part uh, verse three is really on, on the individual. Amen. You have to decide when enough is enough. Amen. Yeah, you you have to decide when enough is enough. Yeah, yeah. You 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 have to decide when enough is enough. enough. Amen. I'm tired of struggling. Enough is enough. Amen. I'm tired of being depressed. Enough is enough. Yeah. I'm tired of having low self-esteem. Enough is enough. Amen. I'm, listen, I'm tired of struggling. Enough is enough. When are you going to say, somebody, enough is enough. enough. It's enough. I'm tired of it. I'm done. How can you, how can, how can we let something as small as a snapshot? Mm. Amen. Deter us from the big picture. Wow. Don't let them. Don't, don't, don't. You know, you know what? You ought to thank God for some of the snapshot Negroes he delivered you from. <laughs> you, 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 listen. And you know what's crazy? You knew that Negro was a snapshot when you met him. You just felt like, well, maybe if I work on him or maybe if I love him, you know, he'll become a, he just was never part of the big picture. That's why he, that's why they ain't here now. They were snapshots. Wow. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Come on. You, you ought to think. God, thank you for delivering me from snapshot people. Amen. 
I, I'm glad. Because all he could ever, because you know, all he could ever do was give me a little bit anyway. He couldn't. Wow. He, he. <laughs> Snapshot. I promise you. Keep an eternal mindset in the face of temporary challenges. All it is, if you if you hold tight and simmer down, it's just temporary challenges. Uh, weeping may endure for a night, mm -hmm. but joy come in the morning. morning. Watch it. Snapshots may endure for a little while, but the bigger picture coming in, in the morning. Man. If I can make it to in the morning, I look back at yesterday and say, you know what? That was small. Man. That was small Man. potatoes. Uh -huh. It's a new day. Amen. I got another chance. I, watch this. I made it. Yeah. I overcame. Ooh. Watch this. You probably started out your week Monday, and you probably thought, oh, boy, it's a tough Monday. But you saw Tuesday. So that means you overcame Monday. Yeah. You ain't kidding. Oh. I, I know. I ain't going to get I, I, yeah, I yeah, want to hear y'all. Yeah, you, yeah. you started out your year. Uh, your, I'm sorry, your week saying, oh, here go Monday. Uh -huh. It's a tough Monday. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? When you saw Tuesday, that means you overcame Monday. That's right. Uh, and if it got tough Tuesday, if you, if you watch this, if you saw Wednesday, if you looking at this, if you here now looking at me and I'm looking at you, yeah. guess what? You yeah. overcame Tuesday. Yeah, thank you, Lord. When you didn't even think you were going to make it past Monday. Monday. Oh, oh, God, I thank you. <laughs> that when I felt like I couldn't go another step. You reminded me that you're not just a winner. You're going to overwin. You're not just a conqueror, but you are more than a conqueror yes. through him who loved us. Yes. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. He go Wednesday. You didn't think you were going to make it. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Look like you weren't going to it out, make it out of Monday. Mm. Amen. If you can go to work from 8 to 5 or whatever time you go to work, right, and they mess with you, Bunch of snapshots, right? Mm. And you want to cuss them out, and you don't cuss them out. When you clock out at 5 o'clock, you ought to say, thank you, Jesus, I overcame. Because I didn't cuss them out. I didn't get rolled up. Amen. 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 The big picture. The big picture. See, they want to use snapshots, watch yeah. this, to try to get you fired yeah. from a job that God gave you. The reason they can't fire you is because they didn't give you the job. Yeah. God got you the job. Amen. So what they're going to do is they're going to throw a bunch of snapshots. Amen. Mm. And I'm still here. Thank you, Lord. I'm still here. Watch this. Look, read that. Read what I asked you, Pastor Mika, verse 2 and 3 in the message Bible, if you got it. Yeah, listen to this, y'all. All right. I'm going to just cut you. Yes, that, go ahead. That's fine. Thank you. Since Jesus went through everything you're going through and more, learn to think like him. Think of your sufferings as a weaning from that old sinful habit of always expecting to get your own way. Then you'll be able to live out your days free to pursue what God wants instead of being tyrannized by what you want. Amen. You've already put in your time in that God ignorant way of life, partying night after night, a drunken and pro pro profligate life. Now it's time to be done with it for good. Of course, your old friends don't understand why you don't join in with the old gang anymore. Y'all hear that? But you don't have to give an account to them. They're the ones who will be called on the carpet and before God himself. I'm going to be looking at the bigger picture. Amen. Don't let that temporary snapshot mess get you tied up. Because snap, if you watch this, if you follow a, snap, a snapshot, uh, uh, that's temporary. Amen. 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 But it'll lead you to eternal hell. A temporary Amen. snapshot will lead you to eternal hell. Ooh. A Amen. Watch this. I want to get to this part. Because y'all do me a favor. We're still in 1 Peter 4. This is going to make you shout right here. I'm going to probably hear somebody shout through Facebook Live. Jump to verse 12. Watch this. Watch. Jump to verse 12. Now, Pastor Mika just read where it said that they uh, 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 they think they think it's strange that you don't, you don't rush in to get into trouble. They think they think it's strange that you don't, you know that you don't be loud mouth or being disrespectful because they want that they want to they oh let's be disrespectful oh we need to say this if I was you I'd say this we say no because I'm looking at the bigger picture yeah I can't let no snapshot you know make me respond I'm bigger than that mm -hmm. watch this though look at verse twelve first Peter four twelve mm -hmm. please look at this y'all because I, I I think I'm gonna have a fit after I read this watch first Peter four twelve it says beloved. 
Do not think it strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing has happened to you. Don't think it's strange. It's not strange. It says, but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. Watch verse 14, and I'm going to try not to preach. Watch this. He said, if you are reproached or hated for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. Let me tell you something. You need to tell yourself while you're under attack, brace yourself, Rick, because it's on you. That's why they messing with you, because it's on you. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let me get a little more particular. You know, that you need to tell yourself, listen, the reason they're messing with me is because he's all over me. All over oh, yeah, God, he's on me. That's why they're picking at me, because he's on me. That's why they're messing with me, because he's in me. The spirit of God and of glory is on, is resting on you. Yeah. Wait a minute. How is the Holy Ghost, watch this, how is the Holy Ghost going to rest on you and you ain't resting? Ooh. No, you missed it. You missed it. It didn't say he sat on you. The Bible say he rests. If the Holy Ghost is resting, then what's your problem? And he resting on you. So if he resting on you, why are you in such a, why are you in such disarray? Holy Ghost is resting. If he resting on you, the, the Bible says it is resting on you. If he resting, then you rest. The Holy Ghost is resting on you. He's sitting on you. That's why they bother you. You know, they're really not bothering you. I know you look good, but you don't look that good. What they see is they see the Holy Ghost. They see the Spirit of God. That's what look good, baby. Mm, come on, come I said this one day in, in, in Sunday school. Watch this. Watch this. I said this. Watch this. Watch this. When you're an overcomer and you're armed and dangerous, remember I said the Holy Spirit is resting on you? Mm -hmm. You know, women, y'all like to put on makeup. Watch this. I ain't, ain't going to trip on Y'all like to put on makeup. But when the Holy Spirit is sitting on you, you, you putting on some make me. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be done with the makeup. Stop listening because it's makeup. Yeah. You put, that ain't what the... Make me. You put on some make me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like to put on makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask the Holy Ghost to sit on you. Yeah, and now I got some make me. Because the Holy Spirit on me now, he, he'll make me. Amen. He'll make me to lie down in green pastures. Yeah. He'll make me to have peace. Yeah. He'll make me to have joy. Forget to make up. Put on the make me. Because when you got on the make me, you an overcomer. Amen. You armed and dangerous. That's the word. Ah. Oh. It was in the sermon, Shai. I said it somewhere. <laughs> Amen. I appreciate y'all make up. But let me see you put on some make me. Make me. Tell the Lord, put some make me on. Mm. I'm going to get up in the morning. Amen. I get up, watch this. I don't, when I go to sleep with the make me on. Come on. I wake up with the make me on. I don't have to take, I don't put it on and take it off. No, no, no. I keep the make me on. A amen. <laughs> amen. And when I hug folk, it don't rub off on their shirt. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy. It's a make me. I just got to make me all over me. Lord, make me over. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I hope y'all with me. Watch this. It says, if you're reproach for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God is resting on you. On their part, he is blasphemed. But on your part, he is glorified. Now, let me go ahead and say this. This is where some toes going to scrunch up. Say, but let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, an evildoer. Watch this. Or a busybody, busybody, a meddler. Watch this. In other people's matters. Mm -hmm. He said, don't, don't, now don't, now if you suffer, now don't suffer for what you did, a thief, a evildoer, a busybody, a meddler, a gossiper, a backbiter. If you catch in hell and you've been gossiping and backbiting, you earn that. Wow. Ooh. Don't, 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 don't try to say I'm, I'm, I'm righteously suffering. No, you ain't. You earn that. I know I ain't use the right language. You ain't. Amen. If you suffer now, watch this. Verse 16. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. Do y'all see that? Mm -hmm. He said, if you suffer as a Christian now, if you suffer for doing good, 
then you're impressing God now. Amen. Now you're armed and dangerous. When you can go through for doing good, you are, it, you, you're armed and dangerous now. Now you're dangerous. Hmm. Now you're dangerous. Amen. Amen. Jesus told us. He said, in me you're going to have peace. Now in the world, you're going to have tribulation. Now you can either choose to dwell in the snapshot or in the big picture. I choose to dwell in the big, in the big picture. picture. Amen. Amen, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. I got a couple more and we're going to be done. Can y'all hang in there with me? Amen. Go to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 12. Real quick. Hebrews 12. Now my, now my, uh, my sister, she's going to shout on this one. Hebrews 12. The big pick. Watch this, y'all. Lord have mercy. I be trying not to preach. Really? Look at Hebrews 12. Watch this. Verse 1. It makes sense. It does. Therefore, we also, watch this, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily snapshots, mm -hmm. easily ensnares us. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and despised the shame, he has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I just saw something. If you would, go back to verse 1 and I'm going to read it like this. Since Therefore, since we are also surrounded by so many big pictures, <laughs> You, you wow. missed it. You, you, you missed it. Since you're surrounded by other folk that's big pictures, you know, you, yeah, surround yourself with big picture people. Yeah. I, I ain't got time for Snapchat folk. Or snap, amen, Snapchat folk. Surround yourself with, with some big picture people. Amen. Folk that'll tell you now, you know, that ain't worth it. Because, yeah. amen, it ain't worth it. Come on. Amen. Since you're surrounded by so great a cloud of big pictures, you know, other folks that pursuing the big picture. Amen, y'all. Since you're surrounded by so many folk that's, that's looking at the big picture, lay aside all these, these wastes and sin. That's so e He says easy. Yeah. He's easily, easily. How can something so small yeah. easily get me distracted? Snapshot. It ain't nothing but a, it ain't nothing but a word. Mm. It ain't nothing but a word. Hey, and watch this. It's they word. It ain't God word. Wait, why, why we treat folk word like God word and treat God word like folk word? Hmm. Hey, hey, I, I know. Let me keep going. Look at verse 3. For consider him who endures such hostility from sinners against himself, lest you become weary and discouraged in your soul. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. He said, think about it. Because he already, if, before you start feeling sorry for yourself, think about what Jesus went through. He said in verse 4, you have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin. You ain't, let me tell you something. Have you bled at your job yet from what they said? Wow. Ooh. When they make up new rules out the blue, did it cut you? You ain't resisted to bloodshed. Wow. Did, did, has anybody ever said something to you and it drew blood? Mm. I, 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 I've been living 49 years. Amen. About to be 50. Ain't nobody never said nothing to me that drew blood. They just words. You've not, you've, you've not yet resisted to bloodshed striving against sin. Watch this. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks to you as sons and daughters. It says, My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges every son and daughter whom he receives. But I'm, I'm going to go back to verse 4. He said, You have not yet resisted. To bloodshed. Come on, it ain't drew no blood. That's right. It hadn't blood. It hadn't drawn any blood below. Come on. And let me tell you something. God has already got your reputation secure. Oh, wow. God, let me tell you something. Wow. All you got to do, don't don't respond. Just continue to walk in your purpose because your walk is gonna respond for you to the accusations, to the falsehood. Your walk will respond to that. You ain't got to waste your no. You say God already has our what? Your reputation secure. Oh. God has already, he got your reputation secure. Yeah. And, and to be honest, I really wouldn't care what nobody think about me. And I care about what God think. Woo. 
God has already had your reputation like secure. Amen. Amen. We're talking about being overcomers. Amen. Isaiah 63, verse 3 through 5. I got one more scripture and then we're gonna and we're gonna stop because it's like 655. Go down real quick, y'all. Isaiah 63, 3 through 5. Watch this. He said, I have tried the wine press alone. And from the peoples, no one was with me. For I have trodden them in my anger and trampled them in my fury. Their blood is sprinkled upon my garments. And I have stained all my robes. For the day of the vengeance is, my, is in my heart. And the year of my redeemed has come. I looked, but there was no one to help. And I wondered... That there was no one to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation for me. And my, and, and my own fury, it sustained me. You know, Jesus, that's prophetic yeah. to where when Jesus would be left alone. Watch this. And I'm going to tell you some kind of, here, here's another thing you got to overcome. Watch this. Jesus was left alone. Now, the, the, the same people that he had looked out for, he had blessed, he had loved on, he had instructed and directed for three and a half years. He had failed them. They saw him do miracles. That he he was there. He was a blessing to them. These same people, when it when the, when the rubber met the road, they abandoned him. Wow! Wow! Whoa! They abandoned him. So I'm I'm about to help you out. You have been good to some people. You have been there for them. You fed them. You helped them when nobody else would help them. As a matter of fact, you put your own self on hold to help them. But when the rubber meet the road, you can't get no help. But Jesus said, just because they left me, amen, that don't make me stop being an overcomer. My no, no, no. So the same people you help, if they abandon you, guess what? You're not alone. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's so right. you still, listen, you don't have to be in a crowd to be an overcomer. <laughs> she said, <laughs> she said, you, you don't have to be around a bunch of people to be an overcomer. You ain't, amen. As a matter of fact, most overcomers, they circle ain't too big. Amen. Amen. Most overcomers, their circle ain't that big. I, I know. Wow. I, I, I know. I know. Last scripture. Romans 8 18. Go that real quick. Wow. I know I said last scripture. I got one I'm going to close with if I can do that. Romans 8, verse 18. Is this helping y'all? Amen. It's helping me. Armed and dangerous. Romans 8, verse 18. Boy, look at this right here. It got a little deeper. Uh -oh. Romans 8, 18. And then we're going to finish with Revelation 12 and 11. Romans 8, 18. We're going to finish with, with Revelation chapter 12. And then we're going we're gonna to get out your way. Overcoming, overcoming. Snap, watch them snapshot, folks. They ain't telling but a piece of the picture. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Amen. Do, do, you, know, do you know you have to keep yourself unspotted from all of these snapshot people? Mm. You, 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 you really do. You have to. You have to keep yourself unspotted. Here, but see, here, I want you to understand something about you. You are a mirror. You are a mirror. And your purpose is to reflect, is to show the reflection of the Lord. That's how his glory is revealed. When you can show the world Jesus. Amen. You are, we're a mirror. Watch this. Please understand this. That's why everybody don't need to touch you. Because you know you need to keep them fingerprints off a mirror so you can see. You can't let everybody. Wow. You can't let everybody have a hand in your life. You got to say, uh, stay unspotted. You a mirror. Mm. You, 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 you a mirror. You are a mirror. Amen. So stop letting everybody have a hand in your life. Because all they're doing is just putting spots on you and, wow. and your, on your mirror. All them fingerprints, people can't see Jesus clearly. Wow. For I 
I consider that the present suffering of this time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that's going to be revealed in us. In us. How does it be revealed? In us. We're mirrors, beloved. We're mirrors. Do you know? Do you know you give God back the glory when you act like Jesus? Wow. Amen. You give him back the glory. Just like if you shine a light on a mirror, it bounced back to where the light came from. <laughs> you, 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 just like when you, you ever <laughs> you ever shine a light on a mirror. If you shine a light on a mirror, it ain't gonna stay on the mirror. The mirror can't keep it. It was made to reflect it back. He said, "Windex, please." It, the, 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 you were made to reflect His glory. Amen. That's why everybody don't need a hand in your life, cause they got you fingerprinted up. Wow. You, I'll just say she on the floor. I'm about to be that too, Audrey. You were made to reflect His glory. Mm -hmm. When you shine a light on a mirror, it's gonna send the light. It's gonna send it back to where it came from. Yeah. He said, you are the light of the world. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on. Watch this. And I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. It's 701. Y'all give me a little bit of grace. Uh, Revelation. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Revelation 12. Watch this. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Y'all turn now. Mm. Tell to Mario, we say we love him too. Free to Mario. What are you talking about? Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Y'all ready? You got it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Don't be scared to turn that. Go on, turn to Revelation. We win. <laughs> so Watch this. It says, when we're talking about being overcomers. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. Did you see that? Was that the trumpet? <laughs> I know, right? They overcame him. Talking about the devil. Watch. By the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. How do we overcome the devil? First of all, we got the blood of Jesus on us. And watch this. When you get the blood of Jesus on you, you got a testimony. Watch it. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Watch this. Our faith in the cross of Christ gives the Holy Spirit permission to work in our lives. Wow. Now, you know you got to say that again. Our faith in the cross of Jesus Christ. Our faith in the cross of Jesus Christ gives the Holy Spirit permission or latitude to work in our lives. Mm. Our faith in the cross of Christ gives the Holy Spirit the permission to work in our lives. Amen. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Watch this. The blood has the power to overcome and overwhelm the kingdom of Satan. Let me say it again. The blood of Jesus has the power to overcome and overwhelm the kingdom of Satan. Mm, 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 mm. They overcame by the blood of, they overcame him. We, we overcome him. Listen, I declare and decree right now that we're overcoming sickness yes. by the blood the lamb yes. and the word of our testimony. I'm declaring that we're overcoming on our jobs by yes. the blood of the lamb blood of the and lamb. the word of our testimony. I'm declaring that we're overcoming all of our enemies by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We're overcoming the, the, the plans and the plots of the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We're overcoming the plot of evil against our lives by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Our household is overcoming by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We're overcoming on our job by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. We're overcoming all of our haters by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Yes. That's how you whip it. Yes. 
by the blood reminding him that what's on you, the blood is all over me. Amen. And the word of our testimony. Mm -hmm. We are overcomers. Watch this. But we are armed Amen. and dangerous. Let's make better decisions, beloved. Let's get wisdom. Because when you become wise and you get an understanding, now you're armed and dangerous. Wow. Share this video. Wow. Share it, share it, share it. Uh, good to see you guys tuning in. Amen. All right, Trina. Amen. Sandy. Joseph. Amen. A amen. Hold on. Let me see something. It says that Sister Woodyard. Let me see if I can do this. Can can I do it? Do what? It, she wanted to become a part of it. She wanted to come. Do it again, uh, Sister Wood. You say uh, you want to, because I, I think she can say something. Oh, add her to the video. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to add her to the video. Right here? I don't know where it's at. Uh-uh. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, this, it, uh, sorry about that, Sister Willie. I, I saw you wanted to join. Uh, we just thank God that uh, Brother Willie is good. We, we thank God that surgery went well. Thank God for Candy. Candy went through surgery and her surgery went well. Okay. Yeah, amen. it went well. Wow. Yes, amen. The prayers of the righteous avail much. Amen. And so we, we just thank God for. Uh, just thank God for God. Amen. 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 And so we just we just thank you guys. We love you guys, man. Remember, share, share, share. Share. And remember, this Sunday, we at the Ashbury Suite. It's not an April Fool's joke. It's not an April Fool's joke. Ashbury Suite, y'all. Bring somebody to church. Audrey, tell Robert. I say, hey, and we want to see y'all at church Sunday. Come on to church, y'all. Invite somebody. Same time. Same time. 9 o'clock Sunday school. 10 o'clock worship service. Amen. Come on in now. Amen. Resurrection Sunday. Amen. It's going to be lit. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on in now. I see you, Elizabeth. Love y'all. Shout out to the Coleman family. We love y'all. God bless y'all. Share, share, share. Hey, if anybody, we got a couple more deaths, y'all. We trying to get rid of. We don't want to throw them away. It's like two, three deaths still in the church. That's it. Yeah. We need to get rid of those deaths. Really, we do. If you want them, then uh, give me Cows. a call. Amen. All right, Brittany, we see you. We in there. That's right. Amen. Bring somebody to church, y'all. Be proud of your ministry. Amen. Amen. I'm proud to be some service. Y'all. We, we proud we to serve as y'all pastor. We serve you guys. We serve you guys as y'all pastor. Amen. We do. We are servants. I promise you, I love it. I do too. Amen. I love y'all. We love y'all. And we thank God for y'all. Share, share, share. And if you missed it, Joseph, go back and look at it yeah, again. Fire. And, fire. And share it, guys. And so we just thank God. And as it comes to mind, I just come against sickness and disease right now. In the name of, in the name of Jesus. And every ear that's hearing this, we are healed covered and covered in the blood of Jesus. That's We're right. healed by his stripes. Yes. And I'm, I just felt like doing this. I, I come against sickness right now. In the, name, in the of name of Jesus. I come against infirmities right now. In the name of in Jesus. Name My of sister Jesus. gave me a revelation. She said, if Jesus wasn't sick, then I'm not sick. That's and I'm right. in Christ. That's so right. let it be with so it is with Christ. So it is with me. That's right. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Love y'all. Love y'all.